Keiko or in, in any dojo or any traditional method of training in ninjutsu, you, you have to, it's like making a sword. You take a lump of steel, you heat it up, you beat it into shape, you get it into the shape of a weapon. But the only way to sharpen that blade is through friction. So that friction is usually comes in the in, it comes in a way of like um, uh, from a training perspective is like the critique from me or you know one of the instructors and that type of thing. But that that concept of like you guys are, are training your body is like the way that you would build a, make a sword. It, it is a good analogy, right? Because you're just a lump of something, and then I got to heat you up and beat the shit out of you to get you in shape, right? And then I give you a bunch of friction so you can get it done right. It's very, it's a good analogy. But the friction part I mean, is something we can use as a word as conflict. Now, we're going to go to using Sun Tzu's Art of War. And in Sun Tzu's Art of War, he says, conflict is essential to growth. It is either going to lead to construction or destruction. That is the exact lines in the Art of War. Conflict, in any way, is essential to growth. It's like when you're lifting weights, your muscles are burning. There's conflict. Your body's saying, stop, right? Your body, your biceps throwing a fucking party. It's like, yeah, get a, get a pump, you know? Just go on with it. That aspect has to be thought in all aspects of martial arts. Any major thing that you're doing where you have to have a conflict of thought, a conflict in training, a conflict of big decision, there's probably a point where it's either gonna go really good or not really good. But you cannot grow without it. If there is not conflict, there's not these major decisions, where do you grow from there? I mean, do you really grow if you're really thinking about, well, shit, I don't know, Fruit Loops or Apple Jacks? Is there growth from that? <laughs> really? There's not a lot of conflict in that decision, right? Yeah, Heath Bar or Snickers, I don't know, you know? So there's not a lot of conflict in that decision. The bigger decisions, who, what, where, when, why, the big decisions, the conflict. You have to sit there and ask yourself, okay, this can go one way or the other, but how can I make it constructive? How can I be successful? How can I benefit from the heart of this particular decision? 